happen. You know, there are some kind of badly damaged accidents. Not even water flood now. I'm not talking about flooded cars. Badly damaged accident. Let me say the back go down nearly cut into two. The front go down shift all airbags. Go down they dispensed. Both the cutting airbag, both the steering airbag, both the dashboard airbag, the under the steering airbag. Go down they dispensed. Those kind of accidents. I know say you don't buy them before. You don't buy that kind of accident before. Some of these cars are rollover. And when you hear rollover, when Copac tells you a particular car is a rollover accident, now thumb boot car be that. Car will don't fall. Put it on, you know, raise them up back. They are usually called rollover on Copac. I think with IA, it is called rollover. There's another one, top roof accident. This one. You know, one tree, if you don't fall on top of the roof, the car go down press. Rollover usually comes with, you know, roof problem. The roof go down bend. You know, those kind of accidents. You get some car dealers where they buy them. Badly damaged accidents. Some of these accidents or some of these vehicles are supposed to be converted to spare parts. No cap. I'm going to be shaking some tables today and I'm sure a lot of car dealers will not like what I'm about to talk about some old car dealers you know senior colleagues some are my mates I'm sure they're gonna come with a lot of bad comment or something or even when they don't come with bad comments i know they're not gonna be happy wherever they are watching this video but then this is not to tackle you you know but it's just to set the record straight in order to guide those coming into the business fresh fresh so let us um, those coming into the business so that they can be guided because of the price some car dealers will still buy some have a badly damaged front end accident the entire front is so damaged that the entire airbags are dispensed the engine is affected in a way the windshield is shattered and some people will still buy them and want to bring to nigeria there are some rear end accident the entire back the boot is gone the rear light is gone and some of these vehicles there's no way you can fix them but to cut another back you know some people will understand what i'm talking about they go as far as Owode, somewhere around my 12 to go and cut the back of another damaged vehicle and join into this particular accidented vehicle to make it a complete car this is one of the things they go through in order to bring this car back to life you really make profits at the end of the day in this business my answer is not really maybe 10 percent out of 100 percent 10 percent can be lucky to make profit 90 percent really don't make profit and i'm going to state why you cannot make profit and um while i'm stating this reason why you cannot make profit i want you know those that are coming into this business newly to equally take note of this and take that as something to guide themselves with number one from the day you are buying these badly damaged cars you are already at a disadvantage the first disadvantage is how do you ship this vehicle out of the united states first problem number one most of these vehicles will have to go through the forklifts or you carry them to your container if you have one and that is going to attract an additional cost for you because they cannot go normal normal on a rural shipment when this car gets to lagos and you want to do your custom clearing you are going to pay the same amount if you are bringing a 2015 badly damaged car another 2015 with a minor damage accident you are paying the same amount of money for example if you are bringing a badly damaged lexus 2015 rs350 with a minor damage Lexus, you know, 2015 RS350, you are going to pay the same amount of money with the other guy bringing a minor accident. The third disadvantage is that somebody with a minor accident will drive his own car from the port to his own workshop or to his own office or to his house. You are going to tow that vehicle from their papa port to your mechanic workshop or to your panabeta space. That's another problem. So you are going to pay for the towing van to move the vehicle from a papa port. 
down to your panometer space. You want to fix this car and bring it back to life. The roof is damaged, the airbags are dispensed, the front could be damaged, it could be the one with rear end accident. Now you start another trouble by buying all of these parts. You pay more for spare parts. You want to bring back the airbags, then you are going to go a long way to bring them back to life, as in real time airbags that will be working normally. You know, in most cases, those airbags will not work normally again. But if you want to make them work normally, you're going to go a long way and spend more money. That is another problem. The time frame for you to get this car fixed, it takes you a longer time. Some three months, some four months, and some six months. And I can tell you that some of these cars have become an abandoned vehicle at the mechanic village. So, majority of these cars, if you go to any mechanic village, you see abandoned Tokumbo cars. They don't repair tire, so they're not going to repair again, they just abandon them. So let me say that belongs to 10 to 15%. I would say 10% of these people make profit, 90, it is going to be a total loss at the end. I'm talking about this today just to guide those coming into the business without any experience. You've got to learn all of this. I'm not saying this to tackle you. It is your money. You can choose to invest your money whichever way you know you prefer. If you want to buy a car of $500, you want to come and fix it with $2,000, is your choice. So I'm not saying this to shake your table. I'm just saying this to guide those that are just coming into the business. So a badly damaged vehicle does not make any sense. And like I've been saying in my videos, it is better for you to buy something with minor accidents. Even if you want to buy an accident with a dispensed airbag, of course, you can still bring some airbags back to life. You buy the sensor, you calibrate, and the airbag will be back to life. I can say that authoritatively. But then, not all of the airbags. When your vehicle comes with minor dents, minor accidents, You'll be bold enough to show your buyers the history of the vehicle and that is another disadvantage for those bringing badly damaged vehicles when the buyer comes and want to do you know green check it is difficult for them to they feel reluctant and so that is the end of the business because you will not do a green check for a vehicle at the end of the day you see the accident and you want to buy that is why i said you are practically not making any profits. For the new people just coming into the business, you get attracted to the low price without thinking about how to get the car back to life, how to sell the car. Because the buyers will surely want to check the history of the vehicle. It's even easy today, they just take the VIN number and throw it on Google and you see the history of the vehicle. Like I said, I'm not saying this to tackle those doing this business so nah i'm only saying it for those coming into the business to be guided and not to be attracted by these badly damaged accident vehicles so you don't get your fingers burnt you are coming into the business fresh you know you should be pursuing your profit margin and it is slow and steady don't rush into all of these vehicles I'm not even talking about the flooded cars now. Guys, please follow me across digital channels, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. And please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and let's keep this conversation going within the comment section. Thank you and God bless.